Hey everyone, here's a question on mensuration of class 6. So the question is, what will happen to the area of rectangle if it's, there are three conditions here. The first one is length and breadth are tripled. So I'm going to solve the, solve the first question here. So the actual length and breadth, suppose there's a rectangle whose length and breadth are L and B. Now they're modifying it, they're changing the length and breadth. So the first question, the length and breadth are tripled. Triple means three times more. Okay. Now this is the first question we're going to solve. Now suppose the length is L and B is the breadth. Okay, this is for the normal rectangle. Now in the first question the length and breadth are triple means it will be 3 into L and 3 into B. The length and breadth will change. Now let me rewrite this. Now suppose the length is length is equal to L and breadth is equal to b now this is for the uh, no, 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 regular rectangle we're not modifying it now in the first question i'm going to solve the first question the length will become 3 into l so length will be equal to 3l because it's tripled a triple means three times more so 3 into l which will be 3l right and breadth will be equal to is equal to 3b because even breadth and length both are tripled here. Now we have to find out the area. Now if the length and if length was L and breadth was B then what will be the area? We know that area will be equal to area of rectangle is length into breadth right L into B which will be LB. This was for the normal rectangle. Now since we are changing the length and breadth here what will be the area of this new rectangle? It will be equal to area will be equal to so length here will be 3L so 3L into breadth breadth is 3B right. So, if you multiply this, so 3 into 3 is 9. So, 9 L B. So, you can see that it is 9 times more than the actual area. So, the normal area was L into B which was L B. Now, when you are changing the length and breadth, when you are tri tripling the length and breadth, the area is becoming 9 times more. 9 L B we got, no? Which means 9, in, 9 times more than the actual area of the rectangle. So, that will be the conclusion here. So, let me write down. So therefore, it is 9 times the old area. The old area is the previous one, the actual area we have that one. Now similarly, we are going to modify the length and breadth for second and third question. I am going to erase this part here. So we have to just change and substitute in the formula. Okay, so now what happens? The length is doubled. Double means two times more. So it will become 2L and breadth is same. So breadth is same means it will be B. That's it. So uh, the breadth is not changing, only length is changing. Length has become double. It's 2 into L. Now what will be the area then? So area will be equal to, area we know it's length into breadth. Length is 2L. So 2L into breadth is B. So 2L into B, when you multiply it, you will get 2LB. So if you compare now, the area was LB and then area now we got here is 2LB. So you can see that area is 2 times the old area, 2 times more than the old area. So let us conclude that. So it is 2 times the old area. Now the second question, same way you do the third one. So in third one they have given that length is double and breadth is half. So length will remain, uh, length will become 2L. So length is equal to 2 into L and breadth is half. Half means B divided by 2. So we are dividing a breadth into two parts that is uh, we will be doing half of it. So B by 2 will get. Now we are going to find out the area. So area will be equal to, we know area is length into breadth, length is 2L. So 2L into breadth is B by 2. So B by 2. We can see that we have a 2 in the numerator and in the denominator, so we can cancel them. We can, those numbers will get divided. We can cancel them. 2 ones are and here 2 ones are. So what we got here? We got length into breadth which will be LB. So the area of the old rectangle and the new one are remain same. So when length is doubled and the breadth is half, the area is not changing. It is same. So we can conclude that does not change. Area does not change here. So area 
remain same or area does not change both are same you can add anything so does not change so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching